Hello, my name is Rene Morales. I'm curator here at Paris Art Museum Miami, and I'm standing in front of a work by Arturo Herrera, which is in uh, the museum's collection. Uh, this is a work that um, was designed by the artist, but um, like many uh, conceptual artworks, was not actually created by his own hands. Um, rather, he takes this image and adapts it to each uh, new space every time it is uh, installed anew. And uh, it is painted directly uh, on the wall each time it is shown. And uh, at the end of the exhibition period, uh, it is erased, it is uh, painted over. So it's very much an ephemeral artwork. As far as the image itself, uh, we have what looks very much like a, the kind of mural uh, edge to edge or all over compositions that are very characteristic of uh, work by abstract expressionists like Jackson Pollock or um, later uh, op art and um, kinetic uh, abstraction uh, by artists such as um, Soto, uh, Cruz Diaz, and other Venezuelan uh, geometric abstractionists. But uh, if you look closely, you start to make out snippets, uh, small kind of glimpses of a very famous iconic scene, not from high culture, uh, high art at all, but rather from popular culture. Uh, namely, um, the famous hi-ho scene from uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, where the dwarves are marching through the, uh, the forest while singing hi-ho. And um, if you look closely upside down, you'll find um, images like uh, a disembodied hand or a disembodied body part or a pickaxe. Um, in other words, uh, kind of unsettling, somewhat creepy, um, snippets, uh, flashes of imagery, uh, which work together with the uh, blood-like red drips to create a kind of um, ominous uh, image that um, it picks up on the uh, creepiness and strangeness uh, of the original source material, of the original um, cartoon movie, and of course the original fairy tale.